Hi. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm back to show you seedlings. These, I believe I just did yesterday. Yeah. These are some canning tomatoes and some cherry tomatoes. Over here is a little experiment let off. Let off. Uh, artichokes. Don't throw those containers out. They're perfect. Perfect for that. Here is one that's still not still hasn't popped up. The seedlings have. These are all my grow lights on this one are all uh, grow lights, specifically grow lights. LED. I paid a buck a piece for these. I paid a buck twenty-five for these. I paid these grow lights were from uh, last year or the year before. I don't remember which. Anyway, they're not cheap. I I, I think probably. 60 70 bucks worth sorry about that i'm gonna move you over here i'm gonna have to turn this light on the reason i'm doing this video in the house is because this is where i'm starting my seedlings because there's too much snow out at this time for the greenhouse um this year for the first time ever i am planting all my own seeds in the house for everything that's what I'm doing it, it can be done without all this that you see here but with a greenhouse we were gonna need all this anyway the shelves were 70 bucks on overstock but I had a $216 credit I bought four of them and I only had to pay for one. The lights that you see on these, I got on Amazon, six for $30. They're 6,500 Kelvin. Um, I'm in love with them. I ordered another 20. Far better than grow lights. You have to forget the shaking. That's not my good thumb over here. Um, yeah, the last couple of years have been pretty shitty. We had the COVID, I had surgery, we had all kinds of stuff going on. I've got three autoimmunes. If I can do this, you can do this. Also, I'm 60. So, I'm a little slower at things, but I can still do them. These, it's not been, I don't think it's been maybe eight days since I planted. These were moved over here because once your seeds come up like this, they need to be closer to the light so that they're not getting long and leggy. Okay, uncover them at that point. These are cucumbers. These are different tomatoes right here. Let's see if we can use, there's an angle I can get them at. And, and you can see, <laughs> these are bakery containers, I think. Here we've got a whole bunch of different peppers, all kinds. Let me see. This hasn't popped yet. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Not the best way to uh, do your items, but I didn't have any sticks at that time. I didn't have any marking sticks. So now we're over here and we're at melons, lots of melons, and they, they're all coming up as you can see. These are not coming up yet. These are tomatoes, I just did a couple days ago. And no, I haven't watered yet today. And I won't tell tonight. Um, ah, I forgot to put my stick in here. So yes, this is what the table looks like. But that's broccoli. And it just got planted yesterday. This is uh, 
da, 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 da. I can't see any better than you can. Okay, these are muncher cucumbers. Yeah, I do a lot of cucumbers because I do a lot of pickles. Um, all the tomatoes that you see, because it's not going to be all the tomatoes, nor all the peppers. I am planting big, and I am planting big in preparation for what I'm not going to be able to get. I'm still waiting on my grow lights. I'm not paying $2 for a cucumber. And neither should you if all you have is a bucket and dirt out of the backyard. I did not sterilize my soil. I was blessed enough to have uh, soil and peat moss already on hand. And I think that's mixed up a third peat, a third of soil and two thirds peat moss, I believe. These are melons, which we have a very gro short growing season for here, but I think probably a lot of them will go right in the greenhouse. I got extremely lucky. Let's say not even eight days, and look at the cucumbers. Ran into a nursery that hadn't been open during COVID and still had pre-COVID prices with an abundance of every type of fertilizer you could think of. So sorry, this is shaky. And you can see that one sets in front of the window. There's also two space heaters in here to make sure it sets at 70 degrees because that's what a lot of them require. A lot of them don't, but the tomatoes do. I want to say this without sounding um, like I'm preaching, I guess. Things are not getting cheaper. I'm not paying $2 for a cucumber, and I'm not going to live without fresh vegetables. I, I can't do that. We don't do that. I, I'm in a home... And I will give you a peek through the back. The dogs can get out anyway. But I'm in a home. As you can see, it's in a neighborhood. Now you might think we're urban. We're not. We're very rural. We have maybe two neighborhoods in this whole town, which only has about, you know, 1,500 people. Um, then we have two Hugo cultures. We have five fruit trees, a fruit bush, we have tons of blackberries and raspberries. Um, I, there was a time when I did this for pleasure. I actually never did it because I needed to, but I did it for pleasure. Um, and because I liked it, I could control my food, I've always preserved. It's not hard to do. No, Mama didn't raise me preserving food. But I didn't have any problem learning it. I don't care if all you have is some ice cream buckets. You can grow food. You need to start growing food. Folks, We this is not going to get any better from this point on. You need to prep. You need to prep whatever it is that you eat and your family eats. If they are not going to touch rice, don't prep it. Buy enough of it that if you have to eat it, it's there. The first time my husband saw the enormous amount of beans and rice, he about fell over. He's not a rice eater. Loves his beans, though. Um... But he came full circle and went, I can put anything on that rice, including my beans. Right now, I have to can up butter and milk. And I have to start on meat because we have a half a uh, beef coming. And I don't have room in the freezers. 
learn to preserve your food now while you have internet um, and don't trust the internet write it all down get books do whatever you need to but learn how to preserve your food my oven my range I should say um, went out about a year ago the only thing we could find on the was on the floor otherwise we're waiting months we've waited months for anything that we've tried to get a generator a freezer we've waited months on all of it um sorry lost my train of thought there but the range i got was the only one they had on the floor and i could not wait because I, my range stopped and was not fixable it almost all of them i think i found one that did not have a convection oven i don't have a food dehydrator but i have a dehydrator on my range a dehydrate button you push it you put it in you watch it you read what you can about it i dehydrate onions potatoes garlic i dehydrate so much it's unbelievable seal it up well um and then I can. I can so much that, you know, I may only get one or two canners done a day, but I actually have, oh, I think, 23 pints of butter canned, and I have another 35 pounds of butter to can. Can my own milk. It's simple. You pour it in the jar. You clean your, your you clean it up good. Pour it in the jar. Clean it up good. Put your lids on. Put it in the processor. Process it for 20 minutes. Simple to me because I've done it. If you've never done it, later on I'm going to teach you how. Um, but, but we live in an age with a plethora of information, so it's not hard to find these things now at this point. It's going to be, though. You are grid down. If your Wi-Fi is out, if... Uh, Russia does what it's threatening to do. You need books. You need notes. You need all that stuff. Prep what your family eats. I can't say that enough. And then you will have a rotating pantry. When you get to a certain stage that you're happy with, mine is about two and a half years at this point, start buying long term or start prepping long term from your own. This is just a short video just to encourage you that anybody can do this. I didn't sterilize the dirt. I didn't stir. No. Uh, it's been out there for a few years. It was fine. You can see by the seeds coming up. I didn't have seedling trays. I used what I had. Poke holes in the bottom if you need to. Um, hit yard sales, hit, hit use stores, hit stores going out of business for shelves. Downstairs, I have a lot of shopping from stores that went out of business. Hit whatever you need to. You don't have room, store it under beds. Store it in closets. Let the towels go in your closet and your dresser. Um, do whatever you have to, but you got to do it. There, there's no two ways about that. You got to do it. And when you get done, or at least you've made a good dent in it, start to put some money into precious metals. Or you're not going to have any when this is all done and over. You're going to be completely hooked into their system, which they are going to make into digital currency. All of this is going to occur because the powers that be have decided it will. When they tell you, someone's going to invade another country take their word for it when they tell you that we are going to have hacks we could be grid down take their word for it they're going to make it all happen doesn't it doesn't mean they have inside information it means they're going to make sure it happens and they have everything where'd COVID go huh out the window so they we could all concentrate on ukraine and russia not needed concentrate on your home concentrate on your family concentrate on what you need your biggest prep 
needs to be spiritually. It, it just needs to be spiritually. If some country decides to drop whatever kind of bomb on us tomorrow, your life after this one is what's going to be important. Also, it's going to keep you sane through these times. It's going to keep you very sane through these times. I have COVID three times. I'm not dead. I was in the hospital once for two days with Delta. You're going to get through all of it. How you get through it is determined by you and your mindset. If you determine in your mind that your family is going to be prepared for it, you're going to be fine. But start doing it now. Don't, don't wait. You know, just don't wait. I mean, I, I'll show you this. I have hundreds of seeds, and I'm, and I'm not stopping. I'm not going to stop. These are, these are jam-packed full of seeds. This little box down here with gardening gloves, every one of those have seeds in them. And I'm not going to stop buying seeds. And I don't wait even till they're on sale because who knows if they will be or not. I don't like paying what we're going to have to pay and what we are paying now. But I'm not going to let my family starve. I, I'm not going to do it. They may not like to eat oatmeal every day for however long it takes because I've got a couple 50 pound bags of it. They're gonna like it better than starving. They, they may not like cornmeal much, but they aren't gonna starve. They may not like rice. I'll make some gravy to throw on it. Just don't wait.